Today we'll be repairing a Philips Sonicare toothbrush. And this happens to be model HX6980. And uh, for those of you who don't know, this um, head of the toothbrush is supposed to be quite stiff, not this loose. So after a few searches, um, this apparently is a common issue with these toothbrushes. And I purchased the link rod, it's actually called link rod, um, from from Amazon for this specific model HX6980 and we'll be replacing it today. For this video we'll be using, I actually don't know what's in here, what kind of tools I'll need, but I do know they're quite small I'm sure, so I have this little kit with multiple uh, interchangeable heads and a little bit bigger Phillips head screwdriver the actual part we'll be replacing and if all else fails I also have a knife here a um, very pointy knife to try to pry open the, from the bottom so the first thing we'll do is we'll try to we'll pop out the uh, the head and as you can see this um, it's not supposed to be this way once we turn it on you notice that this vibrates too much it's supposed to vibrate um, very lightly and you don't see it uh, but this one is definitely broken yeah it's not supposed to make that loud noise and it's not supposed to be this loose so we'll definitely we definitely know this needs to be replaced uh, we'll start off by opening up I believe we can pry open from the bottom uh, don't judge on on the discoloration of the bottom this sits in your counter or in your cup and slowly gathers this um, dark color difficult to remove if not impossible at this point um, I'm gonna jump straight into the knife I see that this it looks like it prize open this way oh it's gonna be easier than I thought and keep on prying slowly all the way around Don't make this mistake I did, just scratch it off. Don't do that. Just be gentler than I am being here. Looks like it's about to pop off. Oh, it did. Actually popped off. Not yet, quite. Not quite yet. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is a little loose. I do see some liquid on the inside here. We try to dry that out before we close it and here is the unit all right so it looks like it's a single single Phillips head screw here I'm gonna try to put it down and, and zoom in to see if we can get better better um, look at this all right here we are I'm going to try not to move the table too much the, as not to vibrate the, uh, the camera. We'll try to take out this. Oh, you can definitely see something is broken here. Take out this Phillips screw. And use the right size Phillips head screwdriver. Otherwise, you will strip the screw. You don't want to do that. These two brushes are uh, could be quite expensive. So that's why we're repairing this one. All right, this piece came out. Where is it? it does not look like this piece is broken. So we'll make sure to put it to the side. Actually, I stand corrected. I'm opening up. Um, the new the new piece this is the model of actually the model that's showing on the package but I'll leave a link on the description to the direct um, item here it is and for us it looks like that piece does come off let's compare it to the other one and see if the bottom well let's pop this off first I 
it comes off very easily actually it pops right off to the sides and ah, yep there it is already see the broken I don't know if you notice it Go back on the camera right here you can sort of tell a little bit of a crack uh, cracked metal um, look and if we look at the actual toothbrush I sort of see a right in here this piece in this side looks like yeah this is very loose I'm gonna try to tilt it yeah, it's, it's coming off now I'm going to try to see if I can use a knife to pull it out There it is. And this is our broken piece. This is the clean section. And, and this is our broken piece here. That makes sense. All right, so let's put this to the side and look at our new, our new part. So it does look like we have to unscrew this Phillips head screw here first. You should oh, you see how that fell out um this nut just fell out from the back here make sure that stays in place uh, don't lose it it's a very important piece otherwise your screw won't won't tighten sorry there it is we'll try to insert it this way there it is. Sorry about the camera work here. And it actually clicks in place here. And here's also clicked. So now we'll put back that. It's hard to tell, but back deep in here is a triangular shape um, metal. And this is it kind of v-shaped metal so it goes in and it screws in there try to slowly place it in i'm hoping this will be it let's see let's try to tighten that up Yeah, that's it. I think I got it first try. We'll tighten this uh, this screw a little bit more. And there we have it. Well, camera work sucked, but as you can see, it's turning on, but you barely see the movement of of the head. But it's definitely moving. I feel it. Um, what we'll do is we'll. Zoom out now. And zoom out some more. And we'll simply insert it back in its case. Don't force it. And make sure you click into the black rubber. Just like that. The rubber seal makes that seal for you. No, it's definitely different. Definitely tighter. We'll put the head back. It's hard to see it, but it's definitely working now. So that's, that's it. it. Very straightforward, very easy to replace. Um, save yourself a couple of bucks instead of buying a new toothbrush. Dispose of your parts appropriately. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.